Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Hell. Let's have a look at Verity Lenore speakers review here. So this is the first Verity speaker that I ever got to hear. And I have to say that this speaker is really, you know, something that, that's close to my heart. Um, especially because I heard it on a Negra VPA monoblock together with a PLP Negra... Uh, preamp and that was just heavenly uh, combination this is such an underrated speaker and yeah it was pricey at the time but if you live in Canada you know you you gotta you just gotta try Verity speakers you know just just try them from, from like the, all the bottom models to to the to the mid mid high models you know I know the last two or three models are ridiculously expensive but if you live in Canada, you have to, you have to go to uh, to somewhere where you, where you can hear these. I think they're produced in Canada and and they're especially cheap in, in around the uh, Canada area where they get produced. And this is just fantastically majestic, very fine grained uh, sound, very smooth has basically all the detail that you want still relatively deep from the front to the back you can have the uh, if you want a tiny bit more warmth covering a tiny bit of the detail uh, up you can put the uh, the fabric on that comes with it with and with and without the fabric it looks good it really looks awesome 93 db speaker you know that's a very efficient speaker you can basically run most amps in the world on this except for the you know the the weakest triode amps um but you could also run some some few triode amps especially if it's if it's a very small room then then the room can keep the speaker a lot more in check but just a really i wouldn't say warm but ultra revealing but still very warm and just very balanced and very evolved and you know it's all about that 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 room that 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 verity does you know where you get that sense of 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 room uh between the instruments and and the depth and the layering and all those tiny tiny details and and just changing a thing like the the feet to you can buy some extra feet that you that you screw up on them you know that can make the sound a lot more um, organic and, and heavy in, in the bottom if, if you want that, you know. And they still go uh, quite a bit deep down, you know. And, and man, did I really want to, to own these for quite a while. And I mean, if, if you can find something like this for around $10,000 used, you know, that's really, really, really cheap, you know um don't 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 say no to that and and go for new speakers that cost 10 20 30 40 thousand dollars i mean these are usually i would say better than most 10 to 20 to 30 to maybe forty thousand dollars speakers that you can get nowadays i mean these are just really really good and and i haven't heard the the newer otello model that this there's a, a discontinued model i think they stopped con making these about three years ago but ah oh, really artful you know and there and there are people out there that really appreciate classical music and good recordings and a bit of jazz a bit of blues a bit of acoustic a bit of folk music you know they like to listen to instruments a lot i mean these are just perfect verity as a brand is really meant for people that really want to listen to to instruments not just the effect of the instrument you know so i wish that they were cheaper so that more reviewers would get a hold of them and and try to you know just put them on display for their audience because i feel that they're, they're just in this kind of exclusive price category from the start that makes them all almost automatically not become reviewed in the hi-fi world you know i just feel that it's such a such a pity it's one of those 
it's one of those rare things that I think that a lot of normal people in the normal hi-fi world would just never come across and, and try. And I find that a pity. So, I mean, I, I mean, again, you can you can up the ante and, and go up to the Sarastro, which is like one and a half times bigger than this, I think. And of course, you're, you're getting a totally different base that is a lot deeper, goes a lot more into the detail. It has a lot better uh, mid to, to high end range, without a doubt, without a doubt. That's, that's like clearly a better speaker than this. But still, you know, uh, I feel that a lot of people in the world would really love to hear this speaker and will never get to hear it because you have to go some very certain places to to get a hold of that so um yeah and the way that the the speaker market is 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 moving i still think that this thing here is going to be like one of the best speakers on the market for the next 5 10 15 years of course in 15 years i think we might have reached a level where things are just so much better that then stuff like this would just seem old, you know. Um, but I still think, you know, for the next 5, 10, 15 years, stuff like this on the market will just still be, on the used market, will still be ridiculously good, you know. And um, just put some Negra on it, put some Spectral on it, put some... Bob Carver on it, put some audio note gear on it. I mean, oh, it's just so good, so good. And, um, but again, if you're that type of person that listens to, you know, horrible, badly recorded stuff and it's a bit on the bright side and it's a bit, you know, Miley Cyrus, Metallica type of thing and you're really into thumpy bass, then you normally don't want to get a very T speaker. Um, it, it, it is a more fine fine piece of, of, of gear for people who really appreciate music, not not just sound effects. So you get the sound effects, which are really cool. You get all the technical stuff, but most importantly, you just get the music, the music. Um, so just, just the lost treasure in in the hi-fi market and um yeah one of those few speakers if i didn't have the audio note speakers that i have now these are one of the few speakers that i would be able to settle with and um i think that also a lot of people in the world would would be able to not just settle with this but have this as their end destination speaker um it, it, it's it's just class and majestic movements and that certain you just get a, a certain type of, of presence diva almost ish presence you know uh, wouldn't say reserved no but it just takes it that step one and a half steps beyond what I consider the normal sonos Faber the normal uh, focal speakers in the mid to mid high range it, I think it just takes it just one step past that and those are speakers that are really expensive and yeah they they, they, they clearly will deliver more um, pressure and 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 more of a of, of, um, of a wallop in in the uh, the mid range but they won't be as sophisticated and smart and evolved and just you know uh, they won't feel as human i just feel that these feel quite quite human you know that's it's almost like there, there's a personality you know built in this speaker where i feel that with a lot of speakers this just this type of thing where it feels like you're listening to components put together it doesn't feel like they've taken people and stuff them in the the speaker you know it doesn't feel like it, it's really it, it's real you know but, but well with this speaker it, it felt real it felt real on on so many layers and um it just doesn't get much better than this um but of course 
the Sarastro is, of course, significantly better. And I would say top audio note speakers, again, much better. But again, you know, in order to use gear like that, you then need audio note gear really to, to that, for that really to happen. And of course, you could get peak consult speakers that in some few ways are a lot better than than verity you know um, especially with their with their mid-range uh, pressure and uh, releasing the energy more and having a bit more of a low end but again th there's a sort of majestic minimalism with this sound where it just feels like you've made it you know you you've you've become that lawyer you've uh, retired you've saved up money you've you've reached a point in your life where it's like here you you've made it you finally reached the 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 goal line and and here is your reward you know it, it that's how i feel with this whereas when i see a lot of other speakers yeah they're they're nice yeah they do a bit of this yeah they have the angle on, on this and that part of the sound but it just doesn't feel like a piece of gear that's a part of you I feel that this here is one of those few speakers that feels that like like it it it's an extension of you you know you you have to own it because not only is it so pretty to look at it's reasonably easy to move it's it fits in a lot of rooms they have a lot of good colors it it just fits on so much different gear and there's and people just don't know that this thing exists you know just take all Told, take all the music genres it's gonna satisfy i would say at least 80 90 percent of those music genres and yeah there, there will be 10 percent of it where it will be able to play the music but it won't give you that 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 you know ugly disgusting grunt primitive thumpiness you know that you perhaps want more from i don't know a big bmw speaker or Focal or Sonos Fab or, or other bigger speaker, you know, it doesn't have that part, but it just makes you appreciate music in such a more refined type of way. You just feel like you just feel like you've been kind of elevated in society, you know, going up a class, you know. So, yeah, I, I really miss this thing and um i wish my my friend still had this with his negra gear because i i miss that sound that that was a really cool sound i never got to hear this particular model with the bob carver 180 monoblocks and the audio note um, but i know that it would sound good because i heard it on the bigger model and the models uh below this but just an awesome speaker and you can't you can't appreciate it fully on this picture here because in person it actually looks better and this color here which i think is porsche silver and then they have especially the, the piano black uh colors i mean all the various speakers in piano black i think that's just like the ultimate color for them all but you can also get them in other interesting colors and i just think that this is an, an underestimated brand that just doesn't get the attention that it needs and there's just so many brands that get the intention attention instead of this you know you get the donatos you get the, the 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 daily the b the b and w the elac whatever they they they're, they're currently reviewing and though those are fine speakers you know they 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 they, they give okay value fine fine There's a bit of book art here and whatever it's just they just don't have this level of finesse and sophistication where you just feel like like this is your last speaker and and you've made it you know now you can retire from your job now you can use this thing and then when you die this thing gets passed on to your grandchildren and stuff like that you know this this is just yeah for, for me the, the this is just you know you know one of those speakers at the top that you want to own um as your end destination speaker so that's me logging off and um yeah perhaps one day <laughs> i can get to own this speaker you never know because uh it's getting pretty old now so you can you can get it pretty cheap on on the used market but 
I think new back then it only cost like 20 25 thousand canadian dollars and i know that when you look at this it's like oh that amount of money that's just, just as much as a car yeah but nowadays i mean i think you can easily get this for something like five six seven thousand dollars used and just a fantastic offer and there's so many speakers in the stores nowadays that i just even though speakers have gotten so much better i still wouldn't really consider many of them compared to this unless you got perhaps like a monitor audio speaker or an audio solution speaker and it was a, at, a, at a good offer and you're really good at tuning into that sound because you have to have the skill to tune into that sound and i feel that with a verity speaker it's just naturally sexy naturally interesting naturally going in all of these directions where with the other speakers you just have to have a lot of skill and hitting it just right with those you know certain types of, of gear in certain types of rooms to get that uh, sound that's potentially better than this you know so yeah an absolute classic doesn't get enough respect in in the hi-fi world um it's like a like a matured uh wine sophisticated piece of furniture slash speaker and it's just just looking at it um also really wanted me to to own it you know it's one of those few speakers where i felt that looks really does matter <laughs> and th this was one of the reasons why i just it took me a long time to really get over to audio note speakers because you know that that thing with the looks i wasn't really crazy about the looks but you know in the end i went from to audio note that that you know i feel was significantly better than this but i still wish i had these uh th th this look it really feels like when you're listening to this on some decent gear that a guy used 20 30 40 years of his life to to like put a big part of his soul and and, and other artists soul into this and it, and it came together you know it, it really made a a very balanced beautiful sound and th and that's just it it's so difficult to get integration beauty layering 3d having something that reacts having something that just works on so many levels like this speaker and it's just now it's discontinued you know it's it, for me it's almost blasphemous that that verity did this of course they're they're out with newer models that most likely are better but i just feel that it's just why why would you discontinue one of the best speakers in the world i, I mean it might have been that they, it wasn't selling quite as much or whatever i just feel that this was one of the best value verity speakers that you could get and now they're not making it anymore i'm just feeling that oh god you know oh I would actually have liked to have, have listened to this with just like pulling the the units out replacing this with audio note on gaku terminals and then just audio note silver uh, on the whole thing you know, i'd like to do that you know one day if i become rich just like buy this used for a couple of thousand uh, us dollars rip out the units get a guy to to do that for you and then just put like uh, audio note spa 19 double wire um on it with those uh, silver terminals i'm pretty sure that it, it would make the sound on all levels uh better but still as it is with, with the stock units uh stock components uh, it's still fantastic awesome sound uh, that i wish that a lot of people could uh, listen to so that's me logging off like and subscribe if you can bye